Hello everyone, I hope you enjoy, enjoyed today's daily. Um, let's jump right, right into it and see why I did what I did. Whether it was successful or not. Board number one, everybody is non-vulnerable. That's when we want to be the most aggressive as possible. A partner opens one diamond and we have one three in the major, so two options. Either we beat one no trump or we beat two diamonds, which is a bit more uh, preemptive. I like this option, uh, but one no is a normal bit, so I'm gonna beat one no. If you beat two diamonds, it's, it's more than okay. When it goes pass, 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 I'm quite happy I beat one no, but I see two diamonds was much better. The issue with two diamonds is that it's more likely that they bid, like double or something, or two diamonds pass pass double. And we can see that they have a nine card fit in spades, and in spades they're gonna lose two diamonds, maybe one club, and that's it. It's, they almost make four spades, so two diamonds is better, but it's worse. <laughs> um, here we're in trouble, they're gonna take a lot of tricks, they're gonna take four or five hearts, five spades, that's nine, ten. Uh, ten, ten, ten is a lot, I might be down four actually. So, interesting, interesting. I have to play the king because you never know. And it works, which is a good and a bad news. We're gonna keep the heart in case the king is taken, so we're gonna discard the club. So now in spades they are. Uh, anyway, it doesn't really matter what they do in spades. If when I, when I'm gonna if I play club for the king and give them the the club, they're gonna take ace of club, four hearts at five and four. Uh, five and four. Yeah, <laughs> that's nine. Nine means uh, there are only four left for me. Whereas here I can make one, two, three, four. And one here is five, so I should cash out and uh, and make my five tricks, which would be down two, which is better than any contract in space by them. So I'm quite happy with it. I could almost claim zero now, but we never know. We play a sneaky ten of clubs in case they duck the ace. Uh, didn't work. No, did the nine fall? I need to check if the nine fell. No, it didn't fall. Really in trouble, we're getting squeezed right and left. We're, we're gonna lose them all. It would be nice if I could, if I had a way to know what would have happened if I beat two diamonds here. Yeah. Had I beat two diamonds, maybe pass, 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 then it's much better. But if they beat, much worse. Would you bid? Would you bid? That's my question to you. Tell me in the comments. I like to try to trigger you to post something in the comments to make it a bit more lively. But if, would you bid with that hand over one no trump and would you bid over two diamonds? Uh, I think you should bid in both cases, but Leah didn't. It's interesting enough. And one diamond, I would also bid one half. I think Leah was very passive on both sides here. Because, and that's what we said, everybody's non vulnerable, so we should bid. Board number two, we have a 7 4 1 1. It's a huge hand uh, in terms of strength, but not in, ter in terms of points. So now I kind of give up on, uh, on hearts, four hearts, because partner didn't double a spade. Partner either has a weak hand, in which case I want to preempt. Or he has spades and ha had no bid. And in that case, maybe three diamonds is much better. But if I bid three diamonds and partner, the question is should we bid three diamonds, taking the risk that they bid three spades, pass four spades, and they make four spades? Or should I bid four diamonds, more pressure? But if partner has the spades, uh, I might go down one when. Uh, when they were not making four spades. They might find clubs. I think it's good to preempt as much as we can. I have a huge 7-4, only uh, 11 points. I like, I like, 
preempting a lot. Partner of course had the spades as we feared and it's not great, he has no aces, he has king and king jack in our shortness. This is as bad as it could be, possibly. Uh, three diamonds would probably have, I would have played there. That's life. We're gonna duck that just in case they want to crash uh, a king and a jack. Or so he played high low on the right, so. Spades are probably four, uh, hearts are probably four two. In which case I can affront to rough one, but I can't. I'm gonna play spade now to put a bit of pressure. Oh. I don't believe he wouldn't play the ace with the double. They're all doing the perfect defense. That's gonna be really bad. He has two aces, this one. What can I do? Okay, now. Uh, can I afford to rough with the queen? Probably. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There are two left. I don't think it's useful, but I think it's on first. We're going to play that. Hoping that the one who's going to take doesn't have any diamonds left. He does. <sighs> That's bad. That's really, really bad. And they make they make five clubs. And in theory, it's not that bad. But if I beat three diamonds, is he beating four clubs? Eh, four clubs plus five clubs? Do they actually make? They lose a spade, a heart, and a club, no? How do they make? A spade, a heart? A club. I need a spade. What? How do you make? <laughs> Let's have it three diamonds. He beats four clubs. Pass five clubs. I need a spade. Small, whatever, ace. Oh, you need to pin the... Okay, it's too hard. You don't make it. You need to pin the... the you need to start with the Queen of Clubs. So, yes, they don't make five clubs. No, it's really bad. It's a really bad board. Free win for you guys. Okay, two no Trump pass, three no Trump. A spade lead, which is interesting. The six of space, what's above? Let's think about that very quickly. Six, above there is the seven, no, the eight and the nine and the king. So it could be king, nine, eight, fours, or it's, a, it's another type of lead. We're gonna see. But it's still possible that it's fourth best. Ooh, how did he guess that? Okay, so he gets to finish the heart. He has six heart. I don't get it. Six, three, three, one. Did it? Did I see that right? He opened two no trump with six heart. Ah no 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 no. This one had four. Five four, three one. Okay, so he has five hearts. Partner plays the three of clubs, so it looks like he has five. So five so five hearts, three clubs. Um 
I think we need to pitch this. Five, three, two, three. So he doesn't have four diamonds, we can pitch a diamond. So the spade lead was not from length. I think we can still pitch a diamond and keep the spades on the clubs. Okay, so it was all the same. Uh, this should be a draw. I mean, they guessed the, the heart, but I don't see why they wouldn't guess it against you. I think this is a flat board. Not much we could do. It would be very frustrating if I wasn't playing against robots. But against robots, I don't see why they would play differently against you than against me. It can't be good for me, but I don't think it's that bad. Okay, board number four. Uh, they are bidding, so he's showing lots of diamonds. Uh, this one is showing us. It's interesting. What's the difference between beating three hearts following by four diamonds compared to four diamonds? Oh, they're having a misunderstanding here? Oh, no, okay. So four diamonds would impose the suit, I guess, and uh, three hearts followed by four diamonds says we can still stop in for no trump, which they decide to do. Fine, very expert bidding here by Leah. Do we want to play the queen now to unblock the suit? Or should we play the ace to clarify the position? Yeah, I think so. And to make tricks before we don't make tricks. These plates are a bit risky, yes, exactly. I know Leah is really good at guessing the queens. Yeah, a bit too good, I would say. A bit too good at guessing the queens. Guess the queen of spades. That was useful. Guess the queen of diamonds. That was useful. Lia, Lia, naughty Lia, are you cheating? Post in the comment below if you think Lia is cheating. Um, how did she guess that? None of this makes sense. Okay, the spade, I can get it, you don't want to lose the blah blah blah, and if the diamond works, you, you want to take all your tricks. But guessing the diamond? Yeah, uh, okay, once again, the good news is that it's, it's gonna play the same against you. Uh, and the reason why it guessed it is probably... Uh, Yes, it's it's probably because Leah has some edge to to so to, I don't want to say cheats, but uh, uh, to 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 simplify the cost of calculation, uh, um, Leah is given some information that maybe it shouldn't in the, in the card place. These are some optimization that we need to do, and here was I think clearly an example of something that needs to be optimized, but it's, that is really hard to optimize, to be honest. Okay, uh, so now what's happening? No, we don't want to double that. We're really happy if they're in four hearts instead of uh, five clubs. Sh I feel we should lose a diamond because on the spade, the diamonds to do work might go. And we are roughing the spades, but we are roughing with our money, potentially, so I want to lead a diamond. Eight. 
So 5, 4, 3, 1. Not great. Finesse? Come on, yeah. Stop guessing everything. Not twice. Should we play the ace? I think so. No reason to duck that. Oh, partner Steve King. We survived. And we're just gonna shorten it. Ace partner? No. Okay, so now we're gonna make our three trumps, I believe, no? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Leah has rushed once, right? And I didn't follow like an idiot. I did not follow. How, how many trumps did partner have? Did Leah have six? Oui, oui, oui. I made a big mistake. <laughs> if Leah had six trumps, I'm gonna make my three trumps, no more, and I should discard. And a partner will take the king. If Leah had five trumps, I need to rough and play the ten of diamond. Uh, let's count the points. Three clubs. And Leah has ace, king, jack of hearts. Ace of spades. Nothing in diamond. Ace, king, jack, that's eight. Ace, of, ace queen of spades, that's fourteen. So it needs, no, 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 Leo has the king of clubs, I think. So now there is no point in not cashing it, just, just in case Leo had, yes, so partner had to, oh no, he didn't. Okay, I think uh, that was a normal board. Sorry, I got a bit confused. I didn't follow the second card, but it didn't matter in the end. And I think we got a normal result here. Yes. Uh, it says they make five spades, interestingly. So when you feel that they have better contracts here, I thought it was in clubs, but they didn't really have a club fit because three clubs was a dodgy bid. But let's say I double for hearts here. They are for sure gonna bid on here, the singleton hearts. So when you think they might have a better contract, do not double them, which I didn't. So quick recap, uh, this one I think is decent, very decent. So I think on this one it's unlikely that you beat me. This one is really bad, you're going to beat me. Uh, or draw if you did the same, but I think what I did was quite aggressive and unusual and not everybody's style. So I think I'm going to lose this one to most of you. This one I should draw, this one I think I should draw. And this one I think I will draw, but I will win to some of you who were overactive and uh, open and found the spades or, or something like that. So I think on average maybe 25 is the normal score. If you, if you lose one of these two, win this one and draw these two other ones. That's it. That's it for it, guys. Uh, hope you, you enjoyed it. Um, wish you a great rest of your day. And I'll see you soon for another daily.